Coming up next on the fast lane truck, we have the fun part of adding on all the bits and bolts to make this a much better, much smoother riding pickup. So you've been working since about nine this morning. It's almost three o'clock. Uh, but the cool thing about this install is, you said there's no cutting. Yeah, no, no cutting, no welding, no drilling any holes or rearranging anything. So you don't lose uh, any integrity of the vehicle. Uh, also, you, you get to keep your spare tire in the same place as the manufacturers that installed it. So you've got new uh, air suspension and you've got new shock absorbers. Why is that? Yeah, we changed out the the uh, uh, standard gas shocks for hydraulic because of the. Um, uh, the dampen the dampen the airbags uh, quite a bit quicker. On, on the spring suspension, it's all right with the gas shock. It'll take about two or three shots before it'll uh, actually start stiffening up and, and, and activate. Where the uh, the airbags need to need to happen uh, right away. Where the hydraulic ones are quick uh, reacting. So, would you say this is like a one-day install, basically, if you know what you're doing? Yeah, if you know what you're doing, that's a, basically it's a, it's a one-day install. Uh, as long as the old springs come out without uh, having to deal with uh, cutting the bolts off or anything like that, there, that's yeah. your biggest issue is to get the old suspension out. And on a new truck, it's not a big deal. Well, oh, new, new truck, it's a breeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how much does this could cost if somebody wants to buy it? Yeah, uh, it's uh, thirty-four hundred. Thirty-four hundred dollars. Yeah, and that's that's complete with the the, the shocks, the uh, all the air system, compressor, air tank, leveling valve, wiring harness. We even have a fuse tap uh, that we go into the ignition uh, fuse, uh, so they're not carving into your wiring again. And. Uh, is this all kind of self-contained so you really don't have to do anything right? I mean, it's just self-leveling. You've got an auto valve that yeah. is allowing air in and out of the suspension and it's self-leveling. Is that right? Yeah, it's a self-leveling self uh, just like the semis have. It's got the one leveling valve uh, right over top of the rear end for the center. And uh, so it doesn't matter whether you're loaded or empty, it's going to maintain the, exactly the same vehicle right height. And where does the compressor and the uh, auxiliary tanks live? Where do you put those? Uh, it's, it's actually both uh, clip right onto the side of the of the frame uh, up inside here, uh, just underneath the cab. Uh, wherever there uh, there's a clear spot, and and uh, normally uh, a spot where uh, snow wouldn't accumulate in the winter time. Sure, you don't want to get a lot of uh, water in there. No, that's for sure. And tell me about how long this will last. I mean, that's just basically a pillow, an air pillow, uh, in a rubber kind of ball, right? What yeah. kind of warranty do you put on this? How long is this going to be good for? Well, it, it's uh, there's a year warranty on it, and uh, yeah. the, this style of airbags is like the semis have. It's it's called a rolling load bag, so it, it'll always center itself. And the, these bags will last anywhere from eight to ten years. So it's a pretty long time insulation. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, is the F250 install different than say if you wanted to do a 350 or a 150, or is it specifically for the model of this pickup? No, oh, it's it's all it's uh, it's the same amount of time for install, no matter if it's uh, it's uh, 150 up to even the 550s. It's, it's just as long as you get the old suspension out uh, in, in good time, then everything else uh, goes right into the same place. And you're not messing with the axle, right? You're not disconnecting brake lines. It's all that's all original. OEM. Yep, original OEM. Uh, we, we, when we designed it, we went around everything uh, that, that was on the vehicle. We've never, never moved anything at all, which is another reason why we went to the dual uh, bag system here. Our original one had a little bit bigger bag, yep. and it's some in some on some vehicles it required moving the exhaust system uh, to get it out of the way. So with these uh, these two bags here, it, it actually has the same uh, carrying capacity as a single one, but it just uh, it takes up a whole lot less room under there. And you're not voiding the warranty. Not voiding the warranty on anything. We, we haven't we haven't uh, replaced anything. Uh, hadn't taken anything off the vehicle because uh, these are actually called air springs. So you're just replacing a steel spring with a rubber one. And uh, how many of these installs have you done over your lifetime? Uh, my lifetime so far is uh, well over 100 anyway. <laughs> And will we see a better ride when it comes time to actually take this thing for a test? Oh, quite a bit better ride. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks. I'll let you to it. Okay. Thank you. All right. Well, Kent, your truck is almost back together. And uh, 
cool thing about doing it the way you did it, right, by actually jacking it up, is that this is the way somebody at home would do it. Exactly. If you were to buy the kit and do it yourself, this is what you'd do. You'd put it in your garage, use one jack to lift it up, a couple jack stands, some wrenches, you can do the whole thing yourself. Now, of course, the question is, will it actually improve the ride, the acceleration, the braking, and, of course, the sway control? And we'll find that out on the next episode. As always, this is Roman and my new trucking buddy, Kent. MrTruck.com saying thanks for watching and come back next time when we do our battery of tests again to see if this truck is improved and better. Another feature of the Autoflex air suspension is you've got air on board, like a semi. You know, they run all these airs to their tires, to their impact wrenches. We can do the same thing. Plug in our impact wrench, plug it into the back of the truck, which is where the coupler is and now I've got air that I can air up my tires I can run an impact wrench I can change my tires I can check all the air I can blow up my, my raft anything I want to do awesome feature